Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat. It has been a hot minute. The last two videos you would have seen are ones that I forgot I had filmed a few months ago. Uh, so it's been a while since I've said hi to you in the present day. Hello. I had a bit of a spicy mental health situation. For anyone who's ever had depressive episodes, where you just get into one and you just cannot climb out of it. I feel you, that was me. So anyone that's been around on this channel for a while knows that when I feel bad, I usually take a break and it involves me rolling myself in like snuggly blanket burritos and <laughs> binge watching. Uh, usually Korean, Japanese or Chinese um, TV shows or movies, uh, as well as reading like manga, manhwa, sometimes novels. But um, that is what leads me into today. I've been dying to do um, Korean film to book recommendations because this year has been like hit after hit after hit of amazing things to watch coming from Korea. So I picked six things. Um, some of them are TV shows, some of them are movies. Let's start off with My Name, which came out in 2021. Uh, this features a female undercover gangster who goes and infiltrates the police um, to find out who really killed her father. Um, so this is gory, it has a ton of action, the fight sequences are absolutely amazing, the actress trained and trained and trained and did them all herself. There was one action scene that was so good that my husband and I <clears throat> rewound it so many times to watch it because it was just so slick. I was like, oh my gosh. I think um, Korean cinema especially is so good at action scenes, so good at uh, tension and longing, and also so, so good at like gore and violence. So for this one, because it has a lot of high octane action, there's a lot of gore and there's revenge, um, and like long-term planning, I would recommend the Mindfuck series by S.T. Abbey, um, in which a woman gets revenge for something that was done to her in the past and her family members. Um, she plans for a long time and then she executes it and she's a serial killer. Um, and she accidentally bumps into a cop who is uh, investigating the serial killings um, and they have a romance, but, they are on opposing sides. So it kind of has the same like um, killer cop vibes, just in a different way. Um, and then another one that I would recommend for my name is uh, Sick Fucks by Tilly Cole. I just realized both of the books I'm recommending have the F word in it. Ah, well. Um, this is about uh, two people who, as children, they were treated very badly and abused. The little boy, when he defends the little girl, is sent away to prison um, and when he breaks out and tries to find the girl who's now a woman, she has been traumatized like beyond all belief and she thinks that she's in Wonderland, like Alice in Wonderland. So in order to bring her kind of sanity back and get revenge, he trains her um, like how to shoot, how to fight, and then they go and set off to kill all the people who wronged them in the past. It's super bloody, super gory, the most action-packed. Um, okay, next up we have Alchemy of Souls, which came out in 2022. Um, this is a fantasy from Korea. It has a female assassin that's like dreaded by everyone. She's super deadly. Um, but however, when she's on the edge of death, she's being hunted, she swaps bodies with someone who's physically weak and at first blind. Um, and she realizes that in order to gain her powers back, she has to train a protege that can get up to her power level and help her like gain the power back that she lost to take revenge. So um, it is just beautiful, stunning, amazing. Uh, there is a romance in here, but that's not what I'm focusing on. I'm kind of focusing more on season one, if that makes sense, if you've watched it. If you haven't, oh my God, I recommend all of these, okay? I recommend all of these. This one is just so visually beautiful. Um, so the two that I would recommend for this, The Space Between Worlds um, is amazing. It's about different um, parallel universes where the main character can travel and be herself in the different universes because her company 
has found her doppelganger in all the other universes and killed them. So she can operate across all universes without messing up like the time system. Do you know what I mean? If that makes sense. So this deals with body swaps and also um, she is an assassin that is set to kill um, other people in other worlds. Uh, so there's that aspect. And then the other one I wanna mention is Monstrous, which I'm more thinking of in terms of the fantasy and revenge and power. Um, it doesn't fit exactly, but I really love Monstrous and it's been a while since I've spoken about it. The art style is just so stunning to feast your eyes on. It's like Art Nouveau, but make it grim dark. It's absolutely amazing, oh my god. Um, yeah, so those are the two that I would recommend for Alchemy of Souls. Definitely if you like fantasy um, and action fantasy. Oh, I so highly recommend it, it's gorgeous. All right, third on the list is Somebody, which came out 2022. Uh, this features a group of female friends, but we're following one main character in particular, who is neuroatypical, um, and she is a coder at a, uh, dating company that helps people find their matches. Um, and she realizes that a serial killer is targeting people by using their app, and when she figures out, she goes to meet the serial killer and is fascinated by him. Um, so that's one aspect. The other aspect is that one of her friends, um, who is a wheelchair user, was tricked by the serial killer and left to die. So she's torn between being fascinated by this person she doesn't understand and loyal to her friendship group who is trying to catch him. Uh, so for this one, I'm gonna say I recommend Out uh, by Natsuo Kirino uh, because it's dealing with a female friendship group where when one of the women kills her husband, they are gonna cover it up and it is really gory and really gritty. And that's kind of the same vibes as somebody. Uh, it's very unsettling, very unsettling and gory, very, very gory and dark. Um, and the other one I would recommend is Foul is Fair, although the vibe the vibe's not exactly perfect. So in Foul is Fair, it's a YA about a girl who is getting revenge and she leans on her friendship group in order to basically ruin the lives slash kill um, these guys who essayed her at a party. Um, so it is equally as dark, but I think it's just, this is young adult and somebody is very, very adult. Um, but they do also have both queer aspects, which come up in unique ways in somebody, I will say. Um, yeah, so that's that one. If you like a beautiful, unsettling type of series, that one would be for you. My husband wasn't such a fan, but I thought it was phenomenal. The ending left me absolutely gagged. Like, <laughs> beautiful ending, so dark. But I absolutely loved it. Speaking of dark content, let's talk about The Glory, which came out in 2022. Um, this is probably one of the most popular, like, good for her female revenge uh, series I've seen floating around recently. Um, it follows a woman who, in high school, she was severely bullied, like, severely bullied. Uh, and she decides that instead of killing herself and giving the bullies, like, what they want, over the next decade, she's going to plot her revenge as carefully as she can and exact it upon the bullies. Um, so I think, if I remember right, there's four or five of them and it is so meticulous. It's like watching a chess like grandmaster play against people who play checkers. It's so good, so, so good. Um, and I will say her job in the series is a school teacher. So she trained to become a teacher so that she could be the teacher of one of her top bullies' children. Like that's the level of planning. So obviously the first one I have to recommend here is Confessions by Kane Minato. Um, this is dealing with a school teacher who takes revenge on her students after they kill her child. Um, and oh boy, does it go there. And she's good at planning and she's good at being brutal and just no mercy. I like think that the vibes are immaculate 
and it pairs so 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 well together the only thing is that um in confessions there's no romance aspect but in the glory there is a bit and i died to see it i died it was so good it was so so good we love two people who are struggling in their own ways and then they find solace in one another as they're supporting each other doing dark deeds and the other one I want to recommend is They Never Learn, uh, which is following a female professor at a university who targets men who target women, and she kills them. She's a serial killer. Um, so again, it's uh, the teacher role, and then also planning and revenge, although her planning is months whereas the planning in the glory was like i think 10 years like a decade um yeah so definitely watch the glory if you haven't it is ooh, chef's kiss so so good okay and now we're getting to one that is definitely an action thriller it's a movie um it's kill box soon uh came out this year and it the main character is an assassin and the thing is, is that she's a lifetime assassin so that's like her job and the thing is that she really just wants to leave the business because she has a daughter she's like I want to retire and I just want to live peacefully with my daughter but of course like it's not as easy to get out of so all the assassins are coming for her uh, the action sequences in here are absolutely phenomenal amazing and also just like a lead female serial killer love to see it um, yeah but I've, as I've said Korean cinema's action scenes are just amazing the lighting amazing the set design amazing the opening scene of this will convince you to watch the whole movie like watch the first five minutes and tell me you don't want to watch the whole movie it is so good all right so i have two obviously before she finds me is an audiobook i recently listened to uh there's two povs one pov is a female assassin whose method is usually poison and her husband is an assassin who is a marksman like he does guns um, and when he has a job um, he commits like a school shooting to take out three targets at once at the school's move-in day uh, and one of the targets um, is related to a woman who's a mother of the girl going to university and she is the other point of view there's a lot on motherhood and assassination and killing so it's very similar to kill bong soon um and then also i'm gonna have in here ring shout uh which may seem weird but hear me out it's a group of women who travel around using weapons to kill monsters um so basically they're killing things that are trying to kill them which basically is assassins fighting other assassins that's kind of what i'm going for um and yeah i just think that the pleasing aspect of like the fight scenes you would really get the same feel in ring shout so the last thing i want to talk about is night in paradise which came out in 2020 um it is a crime noir action thriller drama i guess it's kind of hard to pin down but uh we start out and a guy has gone after another guy in like the mob he committed a killing so this whole whole mob is after him so his boss sends him to jeju which is an island off the coast of south korea uh, to lay low and as he's laying low he meets a woman who is like shooting guns at targets and she is out for her own revenge um they kind of have a short time together before everything goes terribly wrong um, so it's basically the meeting of two people who are doomed like from the start and the end is so good and gory and violent um, it's perfectly it's like perfect uh, if you like I think if you like things that I like you might like it but if you always need things to be happy skip this one all right so the two that I would recommend are the butcher's hook which is a historical about a woman who kind of hates her role in life uh, she's basically there to learn all the womanly skills and marry a man okay she doesn't want to do that instead she falls in love with the local butcher but when she finds out he's cheating on her things go very dark so 
Uh, this is about, yeah, a woman who is kind of in a bad situation, kind of doomed, and then pops off in the end. Um, the other one I'm going to say is The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein, which is a retelling of Frankenstein from Elizabeth's perspective, um, where there's kind of this doomed feeling and struggling against like the circumstances, and again, just a very, very satisfying ending. To this. So those were all my recommendations. Uh, the recent Korean watches that I've seen in the last like year or so that really stuck out to me um, and books that I would recommend that kind of go along with similar vibes. So um, I'm so glad to talk to you today and I'm gonna film another one after this. So yeah, I will talk to you soon. Lots of love. Bye!